What up, guys? All right, let's see if this works. Um, what's up, guys? Trend Light here. Um, coming at you. Uh, this video that you're going to be watching is going to uh, it's going to be my training update for this week, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, but the, really, what I wanted to say in this uh, little intro, I guess, is. I wanted to clear up some things about my training. I don't know if I was 100% clear on what exactly I'm doing. I kind of give you an overview of GZCL, but I do want to say a little more in detail exactly what I'm doing and, and how my prep's going uh, up leading up to this meet in May. So as of this week, I am eight weeks out. Um, so eight weeks out. I'm still playing around with the, the, you know, the weights and stuff. Nothing too crazy heavy right now, so you're not going to see anything more than I think 315 on bench and a deadlift of like 410 for some reps this week. So, but anyway, back to what I was talking about. I'm, I'm currently training four days a week. Um, five days if you include my stretching and bodybuilding style day, I'll do an arm day hit some buys and tries and stretch um but monday i go in and do chest it's pretty much all bench uh bench for like 45 minutes and then after bench i follow it up with a a tier two movement if you don't remember what all that is please go watch that last video that i had um explaining gzcl but my tier one movement is bench press my tier two movement will be a variation of bench press. This past week I did pin presses. Uh, if you watch my Instagram or previous videos, uh, I am weak at pin presses and I want to add it in as much as possible as a tier two movement to make myself stronger at that movement. And I think it will have a lot of carryover into you know the bench press in the coming weeks leading up to my meet. So Monday is just pretty much chest. After that I'll just hammer out some high volume cable extensions or uh, tricep extensions, some, you know, pec deck or whatever. I'll just try to get some volume in after that. Uh, Tuesday is usually my deadlift day. I'll deadlift um, as my tier one movement. And then as my tier two movement, I'll do, well, sumo deadlift as my tier one movement. As my tier two movement, I'll do something along the lines of a variation. Uh, usually it's a deficit. Uh, sometimes, I guess every now and then I'll throw in some rack pulls or some block pulls. Uh, but my power off the floor is where I'm uh, kind of suck at. So my goal is to get better at that first, and maybe every other week or every two weeks I'll throw in some some rack pulls to kind of work on the top part of the movement and hold some heavier weight in my hand. So we'll see how that goes uh, throughout this process. Uh, Thursday is my the way I split up my Thursday and Friday I take Wednesday off Thursday is gonna be a it's a chest dominant day I guess it's a push dominant day I'll do bench press first nothing crazy volume it's more of a medium style day maybe 85 to 87 and a half percent um, of my one rep max for 15 reps at most and I might do a rep out on my last set my tier 2 movement deadlifts so I move on to deadlifts after uh, so I can just focus on form basically I yesterday which was Thursday I did deficit with 315 pounds nothing crazy it was super light volume but it was something that I felt comfortable doing and comfortable with just to practice exploding off the floor and I did three inch deficit so really working the lower part of the movement um, after that, I did some shoulder work, and I think that's going to be important. So, shoulder days, you know, from my bodybuilding days, shoulders were really important for me, you know, because my shoulders aren't the greatest in the world. So, I will always be doing shoulders. I have to. They just, you know, a part of me just has to have that in there. So, I focus on shoulders. I'll do shoulder dumbbell presses, nothing too heavy. Just get some volume in. I'll do front and side raises and call it a day. So nothing too insane, but still getting the work in. Um, and then Friday. Friday is my 
I guess you would call it a back day since Thursday's a shoulder day. Um, actually, I think I told you wrong. My Tuesday, I actually do squats as my tier two movement. I apologize for that, so disregard what I said there. <laughs> tier two movement for Tuesday is squats. And I know that after that, I'll do more leg work. Uh, I'll do some glute ham raises, some, uh, some de uh, deadlifts, Romanian deadlifts, some dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. I'm all off now because I'm messing up. But, uh, yeah, so if you've paid attention thus far, so Tuesday's leg game, basically. Um, with deadlifts is my main move. Um, sorry about the camera shaking right there, but it's going to shake again in a minute. Hang on. Anyway guys, um, so Friday. Friday is my back day, I guess you could call it. My tier one movement is deadlifts again. So it's the third time in the week of deadlifting. However, it's nothing heavy again. It's only 85 to 87 and a half percent. Nothing crazy. And then I'll follow it up with some type of light bench work. Um, just to get bench work in. Last week I did feet up bench press. And this week I might do something a little different on that variation. Uh, something that's, that's light, maybe close grip bench press with 60% of my one rep max on bench, um, or my two rep max. So something super light, just to get some work in. And then after that, I followed up with a bunch of back movements. I'll do lat pull downs, you know, bent over rows, things like that, T bar rows, uh, cable rows. Just I'll row until I can't row anymore, basically. So. Saturday, like I said, I do work out four days a week and then I have an extra day, Saturday. On Saturday, I typically do, it's like a bodybuilding day, I call it. I go in there, I'll do arms, and, you know, I'll train my biceps, triceps, and I'll stretch, because stretching is so important. It's important for muscle growth, it's important for, for health, you know? So, I definitely recommend stretching, at least if you don't do it every day, which you should do it as much as possible, I definitely recommend put one day aside a week that you can focus on stretching as much as possible. Uh, a lot of traffic right here. It's kind of crazy. Cry, cry. Anyways, so um, I don't know if this guy's turning it over. I'll cut all this out. Anyway, so guys, that's pretty much my week. Um, as you look at this, watch this video, just, you know, I might have a voiceover and I hope you enjoy it. I'm um, headed to work right now, so I guess I'll catch you guys next week. Uh, follow me on Snapchat. I will try to be posting more often on there at Lots of Gains. Uh, follow me on Instagram, again, at Lots of Gains. I'll have the link in the description below. And then follow me on Twitter at Lots of Gains 1 because I messed up on my first account, Lots of Gains. So I made a second account, Lots of Gains 1. So I have that linked in, in the description as well. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. Peace. 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 Peace.